hi students coming to the next topic uh, in the dynamic programming approach is it tra traveling salesman problem so this traveling salesman problem can be solved by using dynamic programming approach okay so now let us see what is this traveling salesman person actually uh, this problem consists of uh, let us take the traveling salesman as a problem consists of salesman and set of cities so the main thing here is we have to take one person means the person that is uh, visiting all the set of the cities so here we have to find out the person that traveling to all the cities and the final the cost of uh, visiting the city should be minimum that we have to be calculated the traveling salesman problem consists of a salesman and a set of cities. Let us take the salesman, the salesman has to visit each city, each city starting from, let us take starting from home, home uh, and returning to the same city returning to the same city so let us consider a man has to visit each city starting from home so here is a man is there a man is there in his hometown he want to visit all the cities and again he return back to his place okay so let us consider so here is a man the salesman has to visit all the cities starting from his hometown and returning to the same city so the, here the main challenge the main challenge of this problem is that the person wants to the person wants to minimize minimize the total length of the trip total length of the trip okay suppose if we want to visit all the cities that are present in one country okay so the first thing we will do is uh, first we are thinking which cities we have to be visited that we have to be selected and those cities has to be visited uh, visited but we will think about the budget also okay so which route if we go in which route so that our the budget will becomes less means we can spend less money while traveling so that path we will be selected so the person wants to minimize the total length of the trip so that is the main challenge in the traveling salesman problem so the tour is to be simple path that starts and end at a vertex one suppose the person is only at the present vertex means at, a, at his home the tour is a simple means he is visiting his own place means the traveling cost is zero the traveling cost is zero if you visit the same place means uh, the starting vertex and end vertex or both are the same means the cost of the traveling should always be zero now let us consider let us take let g of i comma s okay so i let us take is a starting vertex and s indicates the set of the uh, cities starting city and s indicates the set of the cities so that will be present in a graph b the length of uh, shortest path starting from starting at vertex i so this represents the length of shortest path starting at vertex i going through all vertex going through all vertices means going to all the cities in s s consisting of set of cities okay so starting from uh, vertex sized uh, first city and going through all the cities in s and terminating at terminating at vertex one okay so whatever i said here so that i represented in the form of g of i comma s so this is a graph this consisting of trip consisting of this starting uh, city and the set of all the cities so this represents the length of the shortest path and the function 
let's take the, the function g of 1 comma v minus of 1 so this function represents is the is the length of the optimal salesperson tool optimal sales person tool okay so let us take this is an optimal search uh, the length of the opt optimal search by, by a person and from the principle of optimality we can find out the formula for calculating the shortest path by using the traveling salesman person is g of 1 comma v minus of 1 is equal to minimum of 2 less than i less than k less than equal to 1 less than or equal to k less than or equal to n c i k this is a c let us take c c i k plus g of k comma v minus 1 comma k so let us take this as an equation 1 so by generalizing these equation this equation we will get g of i comma s i is a starting city so starting vertex and s contains a set of cities set of vertices is equal to minimum of j belongs to s let us take j so i is one uh, city and j let us take j means other than the starting city i is a starting city and uh, j is other than the starting city that belongs in a set then c o c i j plus g o i comma s minus of j so this is a generalized equation for finding the length of the uh, path from starting from the vertex so let us consider one example so that we can uh, find out the minimum cost for the tour for the traveling salesperson so that i will explain in the next video thank you